वेलकम टू माय न्यू वीडियो बेस्ड ऑन न्यूमेरिकल एनालिसिस ओके सो फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज बेस्ड ऑन द फाइनाइट डिफरेंसेस व्हाट आर दे लेट अस सपोज अ फंक्शन y is equal to fx where y is a dependent variable a function of one variable let us suppose it is of x okay means the value of y depends on the value of x so it is a dependent variable depend on x whereas x is independent variable which depend on itself okay now let us suppose the values for which we take the values for which y is depend on x the values are x0 x0 plus h x0 plus 2h x0 plus 3h x0 plus nh these are the a space equally spaced values for equal intervals called h okay now for x0 the value of y becomes y0 for x0 plus h the value become y n and up to so on x0 plus h this is for y n okay there are two ways basically two different operator for new firstly is newton's forward operator and second is newton's backward difference operator what are they firstly we are talking about newton's forward operator okay newton's forward operator is denoted by del newton's forward operator for y not is defined as the difference of its successive value with its with that value okay means final minus initial for for finding out the value of forward difference operator for y1 it is final minus initial that is y2 minus y1 for del y2 y3 minus y2 and if we have to find out the value of del y n then this is become final minus initial i hope you get that now if we have we are talking about backward difference operator what is it it is denoted by the difference just back or reciprocal of this operator del means backward difference operator for y r is defined as a difference of that value with its preceding value slightly changes that it is the difference between successive value and that value whereas it is the difference between that value and its preceding value means for backward difference operator of y1 we have to take the difference of y1 and y0 for y2 y2 and y1 okay these all are first order difference operator whereas if we are talking about second difference operator these are del 2 this is second difference operator what is what is it del of can we write this as del of del y and what is the value of forward difference operator for y here we go this is final minus initial if we distribute it forward difference operator what we get del y n plus 1 minus del y n and what is the value of this this is final minus initial initial value is this whereas this is final means its successive value and that value on distributing we get twice of this plus y n all right similarly higher order higher order derivative reference operator can be found out okay now we are talking about an example so that this topic uh, is much more clearer the question is find newton's forward operator for this function taking the argument this means you have given these arguments these values these values of x okay what are you seeing here these all are the differences of two means the fixed interval is two so if we have to find out the forward difference operator forward difference operator fx is y okay for this what we have to do is forward difference operator for fx is final minus initial value h is the difference operator here as n is difference operator here okay now listen to me fx plus h as we know here h is 2 so fx plus 2 minus fx is del fx as you know if we have to find out the value of f1 here so we have to substitute x as 1 okay now we have to find out the value of fx plus 2 so 
So what we have to substitute is x plus 2 instead of x. So substitute the value of x. This is x plus 2 cube minus 3x plus 2 square plus 5 x plus 2 plus 7. Alright. Whereas fx is just same as in question. That is x cube minus 3x square plus 5x plus 7. Okay. Now open this. A plus b whole cube. a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square minus 3 a square plus b square minus plus 2ab plus 5x plus 10 plus 7 minus x cube minus minus plus 3x square minus 5x minus 7. So x cube plus 8, 3 to the 6 x square, 2 to the 4 is a 12 x minus 3 x square. Minus 4 is a 12, minus 4 is a 12 x, plus 5 x, plus 10, plus 7, minus x cube, plus 3 x square, minus 5, minus 7. Okay? Now cancel. What are the values which cancel out? And 12 x, is cancel out the 12 x. And 3 x square, is cancel out the 3 x square. 5 x is cancel out with 5 x, and 7 is cancel out with 7. What we get is 6x square, 12 minus 8, 4, 10 minus 4, 6. Alright, this is our value of first order derivative, first difference operator for fx, okay? But as we have to do the difference operator until we do not get the constant value, okay? Means... Again, take higher order derivative. Del 2 of fx means del of del fx. In the value of del fx is 6x square plus 6. Again, del of something, forward difference operator of something is that function. The succeeding value of that function means 6x plus 2 square plus 6 minus that function. Alright, open this, a square plus b square plus 2ab, this becomes on distribution 6x square plus 6 4 is 24 plus 6 4 is 24x plus 6 minus 6x square minus 6, this will be cancelled out, 24x plus 24, again we do not get the value as constant so Take higher order derivative means del 2, del of del 2 fx. Substitute the value of del 2 fx, which is 24x plus 24. Again, what we have to do is final, ma, final minus initial value. Okay, open up 24x plus 48 plus 24. Minus 24x minus 24. This will be cancelled out. This will be cancelled Now we get the constant value. Okay? Alright? Now if we are taking again a higher order derivative, then this value doesn't contain any variable, any independent variable like x. So what we have to substitute? It is 0. So again all higher derivatives all higher derivatives after the constant term are zero. So we have to and why we have to do up to three. This is because this is an expression of degree three. We have to take the forward difference operator or backward difference op operator up to that term for which the degree is about. Okay. Now, we are talking about the forward difference operator for this. Forward difference operator table. Listen to me very carefully. You have to make the operator table by using this. 
you have to take the values of x, x0, x1, x2, then the value of fx, then value of del fx and the higher order derivative. Listen to me very carefully. The values of x are the arguments 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Now find out the value of fx. On putting 0, what we get is 7. On putting 2, 2 to the 4, 2 is 8, minus 2 to the 4 is a 12, plus 5 to the 10 plus 7, that is 25 minus 12, that is 13. On putting 4, we get 4, 64, 4 plus 16, which is a 48, plus 5, 4 is a 20, plus 7, that is 64, 7, 71, minus 68. We get 3. Alright. Then, if we get, if we substitute, this becomes 28. So, let me say 3, 6 minus 2, 43. If we uh, substitute 6 here, what we get? 6 cube is 216, 6 6 is 36, 3 is 108, plus 6 5 is 30, plus 7. 216 and 37 becomes 253 minus 108 is 145, is it? Okay. Substitute the value of 8. 8 cube is 512. 864 3 is 192 6 8 5 is 40 and 7 subtract this from this 15 minus 9 6 4 minus 1 3 3 67 and the value of 10 is 1000 minus 10 is 100, 3 is 300, 10 5 is 50 and 7, 57, minus 300, which is 757. Now, first order derivative is, subtract this minus this, 5 minus initial, 30 minus 7 is 6, minus this, minus this, 3 minus 0, 3, 3, 0, 4 minus 1, 3, subtract this from this, 5 minus initial. 5 minus 3, 2, 4 minus 4, 0, 102. Subtract this minus this. 7 minus 5, 2. 6 minus 4, 2. 3 minus 1, 2. Subtract this from this. 7 minus 7, 0. 15 minus 6, 9. 6 minus 3, 3. Okay. Again, take these values. 13 minus 6, 5 minus initial. 13 minus 6, 24. 2, 10 minus 3, 7. 0, 2, 1. What we get here? 8. So, 8 minus 2 is 6, 3 minus 2 1. Again, substitute. You have to take the values until a single value comes. 12 minus 4 8, 6 minus 2 4. 10 minus 2 8, 4. As you see here, our del 3 fx is constant. So, all the values come as 48. And now, this becomes 0, final minus initial, final minus initial. After this, every each and every higher derivative is 0. But still, we have to find out the single value which comes as 0. Okay? Let's stop the topic. We will discuss in our next video. Thank you.